let's take a look at the body first. First, it is the most expensive part of the machine. Secondly, you need to check the paintwork, the depth of which the Mazda 6 was never famous for. According to the salesperson, the car hasn't been in a serious accident in years, but measurements showed that the car was tinted. I measured the largest deviation from the norm near the rear right door, the spread and the thickness of the paintwork was 496 to 852 microns, factory maximum, 150 microns. However, even without this, there are enough claims to the body. The hood is dotted with a thousand chips, however, not to the metal, but only to the primer. By and large, it is better to send the headlights to the scrap, they are sandblasted to the utmost. A new non-original headlight costs from 5,200 to 11,000 rubles, depending on the manufacturer and the greed of the seller. You can put it cheaper, from the pre-styling version, but then the headlight and turn signal unit will have a chrome body, not black. The windshield turned out to be without cracks and chips, and this is a rarity. An unexpected bonus was found in the trunk, a set of regular alloy wheels. Useful for summer tires, the car was sold for winter, or the you will have to reserve an additional 12,000 rubles, that's how much four tires of the most modest model cost. Why yes, I haven't gone yet, and the costs have already rained down one after another. I discovered another sore when opening the driver's door, it does not lock in the open position, but swings open in the manner of a country gate with well-oiled hinges. The steering wheel is worn, but the leather seats still make a good impression, and the factory heated front seats work properly, restoring it on leather seats is still fine. Another big ambush of the used 6, in our conditions, the power window control unit does not live long, any Mazda driver will confirm this for you. Having broken down, it controls only the driver's glass, and then every other time, while other power windows are turned on only with their buttons. A completely working, but no longer a new glass control unit costs no more than 2,600 rubles, but it still needs to be looked for at disassembly. How carefully the previous owners handled the engine third support will tell. If it fell on a rubber cushion so that the support rod is not visible, and at idle it vibrates like a washing machine during spinning, the car was probably operated both in the tail and in the main. The very same naturally aspirated, for, with a volume of 1.8 liters is recognized by servicemen as the most tenacious in the entire line. These engines ran up to 300,000 kilometers. On the other hand, the motor suffered from increased oil appetite. On this, 6, the third support turned out to be in order, most likely, it has already been changed. So, at the very least, there was care for the engine and there is hope that he is still quite alive. This was confirmed by a short test drive. Judging by the dynamics, the declared maximum speed of 192 km h is quite achievable. But when buying, you will have to fork out for a mandatory oil and filter change. A common picture when selling used vehicles, there are wheels, but no rubber. However, it's nice to get branded discs as a bonus. Suspension. When inspecting cars with solid mileage, you need to pay attention to the condition of the McPherson front suspension. There is a multi-link with a stabilizer at the back, wheel bearings, ball bearings, and silent blocks. Say, replacing one wheel bearing will cost 2,600 to 2,900 rubles, and it also costs about 2,000 for a new non-original one, but experienced Mazda drivers do not recommend it. However, According to servicemen, the suspension normally withstands Russian roads and directions, if you carefully operate the car. And here is another litmus test when determining the mileage of a new 6 with mechanics. If the clutch pedal is hard, then the clutch disc has worn out, and dirt has got under the fork booth. On average, these parts take care of 130,000 to 150,000 kilometers. On this machine, the effort on the pedal shows that the parts have changed. This is good because a new clutch assembly costs about 7,000 rubles. So, does it make sense to lay out 410,000 rubles for this car? Even if we limit ourselves to the most necessary expenses, changing oils, filters, replacing headlights, buying summer tires, then about 30,000 rubles will additionally run up. This means that the fair price of the car, taking into account these costs, will be about 380,000. I think the seller will move up in price after listening to your argument. The used car market is going through hard times, and the Mazda 6 is a fairly massive car. The average price of a 2007 copy is much lower than the declared 400,000 rubles. And you already know how not to make a mistake when buying and choose a solid 6.